The market is dominated by headphones that offer powerful bass at the expense of accurate audio reproduction. And while that may be nice for your average consumer to listen to, it's absolutely not ideal for someone who needs to create or monitor that audio. That's why we decided to share our top four picks with you. Number one, Sennheiser IE80S. Most high-end over-ear headphones come with an impedance of about 250 ohms. This means that you can't really use them effectively and to their full potential without a proper amp. Thankfully, this doesn't apply to most in-ears and it certainly doesn't apply for the IE80S as their impedance is only 16 ohms. While we'd be hard pressed to compare it against the HD 800S, mostly due to the fact that soundstage makes a big difference, it's still very impressive for in-ear monitors or earbuds. Obviously, in this case, impressive doesn't mean dynamic, punchy, bassy, or anything like that. These are not exactly targeted towards your average person who likes that kind of coloured sound. Instead, as per usual with Sennheiser, their sound is a bit more neutral and accurate, which is exactly what you'd want from in-ear monitors. Number 2. KZ ZST as per usual with earbuds, the high frequencies are a little sharp because they rely on such small diaphragms that are, in this case, cheaply made. The bass is a little overcompensated in an attempt to even it out, resulting in a somewhat muddy sound that doesn't quite achieve what they were going for. So, why are they even on this list? Well, they're as neutral as you can get for 20 bucks. Thankfully, that's more or less where the downsides end. You get removable cables, decent build quality for $20, and decent noise isolation as well. Number three, Shure SE846. One of the first things that surprised us about the Shure SE846 is the soundstage. This could be thanks to the fact that there are four drivers in there. Despite that, the impedance is only nine ohms, which means you can easily drive them with everything including mobile devices. Speaking of sound, the monitors are highly adjustable both in terms of hardware and software. So if you want something with a bit more punchy bass or maybe something sharper, that can be done both with the use of removable nozzle inserts and equalizers as well. Sound isolation is pretty good, but it still somehow struggles to compete with the much cheaper KZAS10s. We'd say that most users are likely to be satisfied though. As you'd probably expect at this price point, the earbuds come with multiple pairs of ear tips at different sizes, so you'll be able to find the perfect fit for your ears. And that wraps up our list of the best in-ear monitor earphones for music production. As usual, all the product links are down in the description below, along with our article for more information. Please hit that like button and subscribe to help us make more videos like this. Thanks for watching Headphones Lab.